Test one, test two. Who? Oh. Okay. Will do. All right, so this is uh, Infamous Festival of Blood. It's an expansion to uh, Infamous 2. Uh, it's unique because oh. you don't actually need Infamous 2 to play it, so it's just kind of like a sample game for Infamous. I mean, overall as a run, it's a, a pretty straightforward run. A few skips, not too many glitches, uh, movement, fast combat. So it's a nice little run. Are you all ready? It's going to be three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. So right there, I do a quick menu switch. For whatever reason, between games, every setting is saved except for your X, Y axis movement. So I do a quick adjustment for that real quick. And I have to wait until a certain dialogue is said in order to progress here. I got it under control. So this is pretty much uh, done as the introduction mission for this game. There's going to be five missions in this game. Uh, it kind of teaches you the basic moves and uh, how to move around, basic attacks, stuff like that. Yeah, cutscene skips are a big part of this run. Uh, I've gotten pretty much down to a science. I can pretty much predict what frame the uh, cutscene is going to start on, so the quicker I can do those, the better. So, kind of a background on this game. Cole is a uh, pretty much a superhuman. He has the electric powers, but he ends up getting bit by a vampire. So, throughout this game, he has uh, vampire powers, but the vampire aspect's only for this game. Otherwise, he just has electrical powers like in the other games. So uh, coming up here, we'll be uh, demonstrating the first uh, skip in the run that we'll be using throughout the run. It's called the damage skip. Uh, there's points in the run where Mary, the antagonist, tries to take control of Cole's mind. Uh, so you're frozen on the screen for about five to ten seconds. Uh, but what I accidentally figured out is that if you take damage while that's going on, you can actually start moving around again, which we use throughout the run and majorly later in the run. So here it is right here. So normally I wouldn't have been able to move there, but since I threw a grenade, we're able to move again. We call this area the catacombs. I'll probably refer to this place in the game a couple more times, so, so you know what I'm talking about. This is the catacombs. Sometimes it's called the underworld as well. So we're currently experiencing some technical difficulties with our donation reader, but a quick shout out to the Humble Bundle. Go to HumbleBundle.com, get some very nice games, Twitch Turbo, a subscription to XSplit Premium, and exclusive merchandise, while supporting Prevent Cancer Foundation. So what we just introduced right there is Shadow Swarm. It's the main uh, way of moving around in this game. This map is very large, but with Shadow Swarm you're able to move very quickly. And that's another damage skip right there. So, uh, as you can see here, we're moving across the map very fast when normally you're just supposed to be walking. And then, uh, usually in uh, conjunction with Shadow Swarm, we do what we're doing right here, which is called static thrusting. So, kind of a basic technique we'll be using is flying really high in there and then static thrusting the rest of the way until we get to either A, a human, or B, a canopic jar. We'll be biting a human here, and that's how you get more blood. With blood, you can fly again. And right here will be the first fight in the game. She gets inside my head and then takes control. Bloody Mary says it comes sunrise. I'll be your slave. Huh. Father Ignatius Demon. So this fight can go either really quick or really not quick. And uh, really the only RNG in this run are the actual battles, which there's about seven or eight of them in the game. Uh, so, there's no real uh, one-way technique to do these fights, but there, you can use general strategies to uh, try to get the most consistent outcome. 
And as you can see right here, I'm just randomly flying, it seems like. But if you look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a white marker appear. Pretty much the most important concept to know in this game is where to go at all times. So sometimes if it just looks like I'm randomly flying places, it's because I know where to go ahead of time. Yeah, I just hope it So this introduces another enemy into the game, Harpies. Uh, they fly around and like to shoot guns and hang off things, so they can be kind of annoying sometimes. Pretty good pattern here. The r pattern here is different every single time, so we just gotta try to work with what we got. Where are you? There you are. All right, we're off. So we have a $50 donation from Jeffrey. Since the previous donor's question wasn't answered, saving or killing the animals is a bid war for the ending of Super Metroid. Speed versus cannon. Also, kill the animals. And then this is the end of the first mission. We'll or skip a couple of cutscenes. We have a $50 donation from Anita. Heart, you guys. Keep up the awesome. So uh, pretty much the basic uh, skeleton, if you will, for this game is there's a mission, then you transport yourself to the next mission. So whenever I'm not doing a mission, I'm usually trying to get to another mission. And that's what I'm doing right now. We have a $20 donation from Clay5. Shout out to my bros, Joe and Joey, for putting up with me playing video games on the big screen. Hope everyone has a great run. So yeah, uh, as I was saying before, biting people and getting blood canopic jars, which we're about to be introduced in this next mission, uh, is how you get blood, and that, therefore you can fly around in the game. Every single enemy or every single jar I get in this game is routed. Uh, the enemy's uh, position can be a little bit different uh, between runs. Uh, the jars are always in the same place, but no matter what, I'm always biting or getting the same jars. So this round, in terms of that and movement, is uh, very routed. So this introduces pretty much the uh, biggest enemy that we'll encounter in the game called Firstborns, and there is a quick kill for it. Um, there's not really much I can do to control if I get it or not, but we'll see what happens. And I did not get it. That's all right. All right. Oh, okay. A little bit of sliver of HP left. There he is. <laughs> okay, well, now we're just flinging up in the air. And there we go. No big deal. So now I'm about to do another uh, damage skip. Good. So this is where blood canopic jars are introduced. Um, and from here on out, we'll start using blood canopic jars and humans to get blood. We have a $50 donation. Last 13. I've been watching for a long time, and this is the first time I've had a chance to donate. Just wanted to thank all the runners for putting in their time and skills for such a worthy cause. Oh. I didn't get the skip there, but that's alright. We have a hundred dollar donation from Liquid Wi-Fi. Good luck on the run, Skate. Franker Z for Tuck. I mean, luck. <laughs> thank you, Liquid. We have a $40 donation from Bear Trainer. I lost my grandfather to lung cancer last November, and today would have been his 94th birthday. I love all the work you guys do. It really means a lot. Also a $30 donation from Y Caliber. Keep up the good work. All right, see if I can do this little trick here. All right, nice. Normally you have to climb up a ladder there, but if you can shadow swarm right up there, it's a lot quicker. Go. Okay, so at the end of this mission, we're gonna fight a firstborn. Again, just like with every other fight in this game, it's pretty much RNG based, but with a, an outlined strategy to use. Wow, I got a lot of hits on him right there. Wow, 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 okay, that's amazing. <laughs> that was very, very, very quick. And that's the end of the second mission. Now, uh, this uh, traveling this mission, 
we end up skipping two missions in this run. Uh, this game has missions called UGC missions, which stands for Unitizer Generated Content Missions. In layman's terms, you're allowed to build your own missions and upload them to the internet for other people to play, which is really cool. Uh, but since you do need the internet, you have to accept the user terms and agreements. But if you're not connected to the internet or don't accept the agreements, you can just skip both of the missions. So it's, that's what we'll end up doing. Once I find someone to bite, I think I just blew her off the map. All right, we're good. As I was strolling along the waterfront, we have a $20 donation from Atraxis. Hey guys, thanks for doing this again. Always a pleasure to watch. My aunt had cancer and she finally got it, th got through it with, after a long fight. Cheers to you. Hope you have as much fun playing as I have watching. And a door with a sturdy lock. I would be happy to entertain all three of them. We have uh, $50 from Naffin. Here you go. Greetings from Iceland. And another $50 from Naffin. Here's more. So right here is where the uh, prompt will come up to uh, sign up for the user terms and content. And that's two missions skipped. We have a $20 donation from Zyfree. Here's from Chile. Keep being awesome. Save the animals. I don't know. You know what? Maybe the room where they kept Bloody Mary's corpse. I'll check it out. Right on. I'll meet you at the cathedral. We'll we have a $25 donation from Candy Langer. The great thing you people are doing right here. Keep on going and beat last year's amount. Also, kill things better. We have a $20 donation from CJ. This is to the whole HEDQ community. I love your videos, I enjoy watching all of them, and the fact that you do this for a good cause makes my love for these even greater. Keep up the good work. All right, so uh, this mission, you have to end up blowing these white phosphorus generators up. Uh, Earlier in the run when blood canopic jars are introduced, something else that was introduced is called vampire sense. The whole gimmick for this uh, chapter is you're supposed to use vampire sense to find these doors, but they're always in the same place every single time, so we just go right to them. For example, you'll notice coming up on this one, it'll just look like a wall, but once I hold R2 down, you'll be able to see the door like that. And then at the end of this mission is uh, probably the mission or the uh, fight in the game that has the most amount of enemies, therefore it has the most amount of RNG. So uh, we'll do what we can. We generally try to take out the harpies first as they can hang on things and they're very hard to find sometimes. But other than that, what they do I can't really control. We have a $10 donation from Kiki. I so wish I could donate more, but payday is coming up. This is dedicated to my grandfather who passed away from cancer during SGDQ 2013. Mother who had cervical cancer and my dear friend Magnus oh, who lost his battle with cancer at the terribly young age of only 18. I hope this little bit helps to prevent anyone else from going through the same. So one of those harpies ended up... Okay, there she is right there. Never mind. Oh, we're good to go. We are going to need to stake one of these enemies just so I can get a little bit of blood. Alright, that was a really good fight. Just enough blood so I can get up here and activate this cutscene. We have a $25 donation from Omni Belt. Shout out to all the mods and friends on the much underappreciated IRC chat for AGDQ. Your conversation always makes this week awesome and I can't wait to chat about games with you over the coming week. We have a $20 donation from CJ5. Lost one of my best friend's parents to lung cancer. And cancer is a massive thing that runs all through both sides of my family. Really appreciate all the stuff that everyone at AGDQ are doing to help raise money to fight cancer. Thank you, everyone. So this is probably the longest traveling session that's not in a mission. So there's gonna be uh, blood jars that we're gonna be grabbing, random humans we're gonna be biting just to get to the mission as quick as we can. We have a $250 donation from Crazy Viking Studios. Odin has commanded Volgar to slay evil in Midgard, and 
now he commands that Volgar help stab Cancer in the face with some of his gold pile. Killing monsters good, Cancer bad. Volgar good at stabbing things, like Cancer. Oh, and drinking meat and eating bacon. Don't run, there you go. So one minor thing, I guess, the note is, uh, it was introduced in another mission earlier, but uh, there's a few humans in the game that if you bite them, they actually become firstborns, the big enemies that we fight. So we use vampire sense like this to uh, denote whether or not they are that enemy or not. We have a $20 donation from Morgan. My mother passed away from breast cancer in 2009. Here's to less of this in the future with fundraising efforts like AGDQ. So the damage skip that we've been using throughout this run uh, pretty much is only used for where Mary's trying to take control of your head just normally. However, uh, it's the only time in the run at the end of this mission where it's actually done during a fight. So what we discovered is that if you can do the damage glitch during the fight, uh, the, end the fight doesn't really start until you're normally unfrozen. But we what we figured out is that the enemies are actually standing all around the map. So if we can defeat the enemy while the trance if you want to call it, is going on, then we can pretty much skip an entire fight in the game. And that'll be at the end of the mission. The shot right here can be tricky. Oh, no. All right, okay, good. We have a $10 donation from Evan Nightingale. Kick Cancer and these games in their respective butts. All right, so we'll be grabbing one more blood jar, and then we'll be doing the fight. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this uh, this skip. Uh, nothing that can end a run. It'll just, uh, or no reason I can die. You'll just lose time, but it should go according to plan. All right, we got it. So like I said, normally you're frozen for about 30 seconds here, but the enemy you need to fight is right up here. So we just shoot it, and it fell down on the beach. Oh, never mind. Okay, and now it's dead. And instead of having to do that whole fight, there you go. <laughs> now the fourth mission, and we're about to move to the fifth mission. We have a $25 donation from Nalio. Morning from the UK. First time watching live and loving it. Bummed, I will have work halfway through the week. Really looking forward to the Fire Emblem speedrun. Keep up the good work. We also have a $25 donation from King Ewok. Keep up the good work. It's always fun to see these old games beaten with ease. We have a $20 donation from Corey10. I lost someone close to me to cancer a couple of days ago. Even though it has little chance, I'm donating for Team Chaotix in Sonic Heroes in honor of her. In honor of her. Screw you, I want it attitude. So in my opinion, uh, this last mission of the game is a lot different than every other mission. Usually, the missions in this game are, okay, here's a problem, well, let's go investigate the problem. This mission is a very involved. I pretty much consider it in two parts. First part is uh, chasing around the main antagonist, Bloody Mary. And the second part is pretty much trying to trap her in the catacombs so that she dies. So I'm, I just found a really interesting skip a couple days ago for right here. I'm gonna see if I can get it real quick. Okay, I didn't, but it's all right. There we go. <laughs> If you move really quickly there, you can actually hit her before she even does that uh, supersonic attack. Remi I call it supersonic attack because it reminds me of like uh, supersonic from uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal of Pokemon. We have a $15 donation from Corbin. What a great event, Spaghetti. I hope one day, Spaghetti, we can stop this horrible monster, Spaghetti. 
please pay spaghetti for another $10. Do they say, say spaghetti? Yes. Spaghetti. We have a $25, $0.25 donation from Multiball as a professional software QA professional. Been hilariously motivating to see both Lara Croft walking on air and Nathan Drake rubbing his booty against the walls until he clips through them. Thank you for the demonstration. You're strong. You and I, we could eat just a few more. We have a $50 donation from Vicken52. Have a grandma going through breast cancer and seeing the toll that it has on her has been depressing. Hopefully this can prevent others from having to deal with it. Keep up the amazing work. So normally I would try to uh, shadow swarm through this little alley, uh, but unfortunately we just have just not enough blood to get to where we need to go. So we just pretty much go through two lengths of this alley and then use shadow swarm and we'll get right to where we need to go. And right here we do something called Ionic Storm, which was a move that was in Infamous 2 that they only put right here, <laughs> which it was my favorite move in Infamous 2. So I wish they'd put it in, but at least we get to use it once. So this is the final part of the speed. I'm recall this the final standoff. Uh, pretty much Bloody Mary is trying to escape there. And all of her minions are trying to attack me so that she can escape. Uh, Zeke here is planting white phosphorus bombs throughout the catacombs so that we can blow up the catacombs and she can never come back. So the mechanics behind this part of the run is it's pretty much you're trying to hold your ground here and not get overwhelmed by these uh, vampire slaves, I guess, if you will. The problem is they'll start coming in waves of about 30 or 40. So that can be at times very difficult to manage just with one person. So uh, we do our best, uh, a lot of electricity. There's an infinite amount of electricity here, so there's not usually a problem. The only issue we can run into is that Bloody Mary will try to escape every periodically and we have to hit her, but sometimes she can move around very quickly. And if she's moving around very quickly while all these people are coming up here, it can get really rough really quick. So the main key is just damage control. And luckily, uh, they've provided us a big pool of water here, and since water conducts electricity, uh, they die very quickly. Not to mention, at the end of the last mission, we got the barbed cross, which is on Cole's back, and that will melee uh, any enemy in the game, for the most part, in one hit. So, if they end up do getting up here, we usually melee them. Only took Bloody Mary out in one hit. We have a $5 donation from D Wins. Good luck to my streaming pal, Skate4. Donation goes to his choice. We also have a $50 donation from Lucky. Love AGDQ, shoutouts to Skate and KArts on the couch. Good luck on the run. Let's digi-radiate digi cancer. Lucky's a good friend of mine. Appreciate that, Lucky. We have uh, $50 from Grim Motive. I lost two grandmothers to cancer, one of which was New Year's Day at 1 a.m. It's hard to talk about, but I think what you guys do is one of the best uses of video games. Looking forward to all you do in the future. Shout out to Mega Ran, AKA Random, and Benevolence. We have a $10 donation from Callowist. Kate, baby, just aim for some sweet beard action. Good luck with the run. Don't forget to jump twirl with that wand. We have eight. So yeah, this is where the uh, waves start getting really aggressive, so we just need to make sure we're uh, keeping them up in the water. We have a $25.32 donation from Hotel Don. This is the first GDQ I've been able to watch live. Thanks to my former employers for firing me and freeing me of all former responsibilities. Keep up the good work, guys. We have a 
$20 donation from Nita Zeet. Cancer is lame, but secret stages in BattleBot are awesome. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. We're pretty much about three-fifths of the way down with this part. The, uh, the cycles for this are uh, pretty much the same. Bloody Mary comes usually at the same time. As you can see right now, though, she's about to travel over here. It's the only time where Zeke, our, like, our companion in this story, doesn't let you know that she's coming, so it's really important to know that she is. I'm gonna have to come over here. All right. And luckily this harpy came over here, so it's less walking. We have a $20 donation from Under Siege. Thank you so much to everyone involved with AGDQ. I want to remind you guys to stay positive. The good will always outweigh the bad. We will fight through this. Uh-oh. We have a $50 donation from the Epic Prince Bluff. It's great to see gamers unite for a good cause. Good luck on the runs and have a happy new year. A lot of donations right now. I really appreciate y'all supporting PCF. It's a good cause. So we get a power up here, just freezes me for a couple seconds. And luckily these two are right next to each other. That's so good. Perfect. All right. And then Bloody Mary makes one last chance for an escape, but it's not gonna work out. We have a uh, $30 donation from Whiff. Oh no. <laughs> Cole just whiffed. All right, there we go. <laughs> so we do this run on SDA timing, so it's uh, from start of control of your character to when you lose control. So uh, luckily with subtitles on, it's interesting. When a certain subtitle comes up, we know that's when uh, you lose control of the character. So it's really accurate as long as you can uh, press a button when it comes up. So get ready on time over there. And this is, uh, the whole point is that uh, when the sun comes up, Cole's supposed to lose, con lose control of himself, so that this is kind of just like the last epic ending. Ready? Time. No. What did you just say? That's a new world record. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Good job. Oh, man. I love it. So this is pretty much the ending. The, the premise of the story is that Zeke, Cole's companion, is telling a lady at the bar a uh, story which we just played through. And this is kind of the end of the cutscene, so I'll watch that. Be sure to tweet at him at Skate411. Oh, was there a runner's choice? Yeah, it was I'm sorry. $5 runner's uh, choice. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We have a $30 donation from Truffle Pig 997 Giving up my steak dinner tomorrow, Skate. Thank you. Omni slashing cancer is more important. Good luck. Especially on a hot night like tonight. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Lead the way. We have a ten dollar donation from Matt Seven. Hey guys, wanted to thank you for the work you do and the games you break. Got ten bucks here for Tetris Grandmaster Secret Grade. Anyone that hasn't seen that game is in for a treat. Oh shit! She ends up being a vampire. So that's the run. I really appreciate y'all. Thanks so much.